Hey everybody, this is Tammy with Robin's Nest. Uh, welcome back. I thought I would bring you along. Um, I, Shania and I went and we went foraging this morning out in the on the country roads. And this is what you call goldenrod. Um, it has a lot of medicinal properties to it. Um, it's, uh, I don't know if you can see that, it's, they're really pretty yellow flowers, and you find them in the fall. We picked up quite a bunch. I've got a whole basket full, and then a whole boot tray full. The flowers and the leaves are good and I will talk more about that after I get done rinsing them and getting them ready for the dehydrator. So I will be back in a little bit. All right, all righty everybody, I'm back. I got all of that washed up and on the dehydrators. I've actually got 12 trays ready to go on the dehydrator. Um, I thought I would just bring you with me and I'll show you how I did and how I took them apart. You can hang dry them. You can dehydrate them together with the leaves and uh, flowers on like these that's already been dehydrated that a friend gave me the other day that she picked out of uh, off of some property but I decided I wanted to do just the leaves and this the leaves and then the flowers separate so this I'm gonna get my camera here hopefully it's light enough so this is it here. So you just take it, hold it, pull down. There's your handful of leaves. And put those over there with the leaves. Because like I said, I'm doing just the leaves and the flowers separate. And I'll just take my little clippers off the long stem. And then I have the flower head. Um... I have the flower head so that will be separate and I'm going to get these on the dehydrator I have two dehydrators and they're both going to be full I'm looking at probably 12 hours to dry them but I will uh, let you know for sure how long if you have any questions about the golden rod um, that I won't cover when I come back then um, you can go and look at some videos from some herbalists that are licensed certified and they can tell you more in detail so anyway I'll be back as soon as this all gets dried hey everybody this is Tammy with the Robin's Nest I thought I would bring you along I'm in the car I found some goldenrod out growing, so I am going to go and get some, and I'll bring you along and show you what it looks like. See you in a minute. I gotta go drive. So this here is goldenrod. When you're driving down the road, it's beautiful yellow flowers. Can get up to six feet high and it grows in fields and alongside the roadways. So, this is what I'm after today. I'm just gonna get a little bit because I got some the other day. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you're out in the field. You're driving up and down the highways or the dirt roads. So I'm gonna jump out here and get some, take it back to the house, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it. All right, I am back, and I got just a little bit because, like I said, I got 
a bunch. Um, the hair wall back. And the last weekend, I think it was, that I got a bunch. But I wanted to put some um, drying, hang drying. Wanted to try that. I haven't really dried too much. Just a few things. So I'm just going to make a couple of bundles. I've got some string here. And I'm just going to tie it. And some bundles. Because I want to use this. I'm going to try and spread the flower heads in my yard so that I can just grow it right here. So I'm just going to tie this up. Make me a little knot in the end. And I'm just going to do three or four bundles there. Now while I was out, um, I stopped by our local, uh, it's actually a nursery, but they opened up a little store in the south end, and they sell uh, tomatoes and jalapenos and stuff out of the garden, and then they sell jellies, and they go ahead and carry my honey that I like, because if you're going to use honey, you really should... Get the honey that's grown in your area because the pollen and stuff matches what's in your area and the bees, you know, take that from. And it's better for you if you buy local instead of just uh, buying from the grocery store just from wherever they get it shipped. So I'm gonna have three bundles of this. And you have to kind of be careful when you pick it because um, there will be spiders and bees love the goldenrod. Wasps likes the goldenrod. I've seen a video where there was caterpillars on them. Um, so they're a good pollinator for the fall time. But these only grow in the fall. So you have to kind of catch it in the fall. And like I said, later when I take what I have um, dehydrated and I jar it up, I'll tell you all the medicinal properties that goldenrod has. Okay, so I got three bundles. I'm going to hang them up, let them dry, and then I'm going to spread the seed heads in my yard. The leaves and the plants are medicinal. You can use both. I plan on making a tincture and an infused honey. So while I was... The out, I went by and got my honey for my infusions, and surprisingly, it only went up a dollar, because last year and the year before, I was paying 11 this year, it's twelve twenty nine. so it only went up for a dollar, and while I was there, I spotted some cinnamon apple bun butter that they had made, and I wanted to try it. And it was $5.15 for this little jar of ap uh, cinnamon apple butter. So I think that will be good. And I think that's it. And I'll be back with the dehydrated. Alright guys, I am back. And I took off the golden rod off of the dehydrator and I wanted to show you what I got. I got a full jar of just the leaves 
and I got almost two quarts of just the flowers. Isn't that pretty? And here's the other one. I got tired of pulling it off the stem, so I've got another whole bag that I need to get the flowers off of. So, um, I will do that probably every evening or probably tomorrow evening until I get it all done. So, I will bring you guys along with me when I make my tinctures and salves of it. But I kind of wanted to read a little bit about it. Now, uh, like I said earlier, you can only find this in the fall, usually August to uh, first of November, end of October. I kind of noticed when I was out this morning that it's, um, most of it is kind of dying back. It's drying out, going to seed. So, anyway, okay. So it is, this that is in my area is Canadian Goldenrod. And the scientific name is Solidigo. Soligo. And its meaning is to make whole. So the uses for it is respiratory herb, UTI herb, anti-inflammatory, wound healer and more tincture is the easiest way to preserve this herb a uh, quick note some people think it is a ragweed but it is not people aren't allergic to goldenrod most of the time while almost everyone is allergic to ragweed which is true because i was out there and I have an app on my phone called Picture This, and I can take a picture of any flower, weed, plant, and it will tell me what it is. And this popped up, Goldenrod, and then there was another one that I wanted to see what it was, and as soon as I took a picture of it, it said Ragweed. And so this is definitely not Ragweed. So, the parts that you use on this plant is uh, the flowers and leaves are both medicinal. So, you can use it for kidneys and bladder disorder. Increases urine for kidney and bladder infection. So, it increases your urine to flush out your system. Gastrointestinal and liver aid. It removes removes extra mucus from the respiratory tract, anti-inflammatory, anti-microbial, and astringent. It's diuretic, and it heals wounds. Um, relieves congestion from allergies, sinuses, flu, common cold. You can make a throat gargle combined with sage in an infusion to soothe sore throats, thrush, laryngitis. Um, that's just quick jotting downs. But then over here, I have written down urinary tract infection, respiratory allergies, head cold, kidneys. It cleanses the kidneys. I think I also heard somebody say that it took care of kidney stones. Anti-inflammatory, aches, pains, sore joints, and arthritis. So, I think all in all, it's good. It covers a lot of stuff. It will definitely be in my home apothecary for medicines. And uh, I'm trying to get me and people that I know off of their medications so, but me first. I'm the guinea pig. So, uh, you can ferment it in, in ginger and, uh, and honey. So, I plan on 
making a tincture and probably a salve because you could put it on you know skin inflammation so I will bring you along when I do that but for today I will let you go and I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time bye